Okay, this is how to use a wiki in Blackboard. First note that the screenshot that you see demonstrates Blackboard in student preview mode so that you can see what the student sees in accessing a wiki in Blackboard. If I left the screen in its default format, you would see what I see in Blackboard as an instructor, which is quite different, especially in the newer versions of Blackboard. So, a wiki is an online tool that allows participants to contribute to content remotely. This is an asynchronous activity, so we don't all have to contribute at a designated time although there may be deadlines associated with submitting your contribution to the group. There are many ways to use a wiki, but for our purposes, we're going to use it for basic collaboration. I will use a wiki when I want to highlight an area in your lessons that I feel requires some additional attention. This is also a great opportunity to practice using wikis as an online tool for collaboration. I will alert you of a wiki in the daily announcements. You should then go to that wiki in Blackboard. You will see that I have added a menu item, Wikis, in the course menu in Blackboard. When you go to the wiki page, you will see the title of each wiki in blue. We can then click on the title of the wiki that we want to review, or to the right of each title, you will see a small gray box with an open arrow down or scroll button, select that button and scroll down to open. Once you've opened the wiki, the instructions and content for that wiki will appear for your review. To the right of that wiki, you will see a panel showing the other contributors to the wiki. At this point, you can select Create wiki page found at the top left screen of the instruction box. When you do that, you will get a wiki content box. There it is. And a place for you to type your name. Below the name is the content box and a place for you to add your content. When you're finished, you'll hit the submit button on the lower right of the screen. So I'll just put Susan M, since there's another Susan there already, and test, and then submit. Once you've submitted, you will see your content added to the original wiki. A menu bar on the right appears to identify the contributors for each essay or access. You can go back in and edit or revise your submission later if you wish by simply clicking the submission then selecting the Edit Wiki Content button in the upper right of the content box. Okay. The Wiki application doesn't allow two contributions to edit a submission simultaneously. So the wiki page will lock for two minutes to prevent others from editing the same content. If this happens, the system will simply warn you that somebody else is currently accessing the page. One of the objectives of a writing course is to allow the students to experience a variety of online writing tools such as a wiki. I hope you find these wikis helpful as you test your understanding of the course content and experience a new way to communicate with your classmates online.